of the grill. Okay, so now uh, all the mixture that we saw in the previous uh, time was that we made the masala and now we added this to the chicken which we already uh, like uh, added uh, the filling to. So just now once you have all of this ready, just mix them well. So make sure that all the chicken pieces are uh, having this masala nicely. And if you are, uh, I would prefer that you should marinate this overnight if you probably want to make tandoori tomorrow just marinate it in the night and keep it in the fridge but it's okay even if you don't marinate it's fine at least like half an hour is sufficient sometimes i just make it tandoor as like right then till my oven is uh, getting preheated so just make sure you mix everything evenly and then i will show you next how to prepare your pan Um, now I will prepare my pan, uh, the dish for the tandoor. You can see that I just added a foil uh, as a base. And then uh, the main thing is when I'm trying to pe put my like pieces over here, I do not want them to get stuck to the foil. So I just created a base. You can add any kind of uh, vegetable you like. You can add olives or anything. I add, I just added potato, some onions, potato, carrots. Any, yeah, anything that you want to be baked and you like eating it. Just add whatever you like. Um, you, I added just few carrots and few onions mm -hmm. and now I'll just place the leg pieces over them uh, now I have added all the pieces to the tray there's some masala left so I'm just uh, adding uh, this masala over the pieces just to have that finish and uh, one the last most important is uh, probably when i am making it i forgot to add olive oil so this is always good to i'll just give it as a coating at the end i'm just adding some olive oil at the end and i will add this to the pieces But when you are making it, just make sure you add this to the marination so that it's evenly spread over the pieces. So you want olive oil to be added to the marination? Yes. Not afterwards? No, I'm just doing it afterwards because I miss doing it. But um, So now you can see that my oven is uh, preheated. And now I'll just open like uh, the oven and... Uh, one thing you have to make sure is my oven has three sections so one two and three so just make sure that you're on the top section because uh, you are doing 3d hot air and it's on the top so I'm just going to place it on the topmost layer and then let's start I put it on 185 it'll probably take um, 50 minutes to finish the complete chicken but halfway I will open the oven and I will flip the chicken pieces so that it, it cooks equally on the uh, cooks equally on both sides.